Hi everybody, this is Ernest Gonzalez with SAISD EdTech and Design, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a quiz using Google Forms from within your Google Classroom. Right now I have a demo classroom open. I'm going to click on Classwork. From here I have the Create button, which lets me create assignments, quizzes, questions, and materials, but today we're focusing on a quiz. The first screen that you see is your opportunity to set up the Google Form, right? So I'm going to include my title here, quiz number 10. The next box down is an opportunity for you to include some instructions for your student, as well as link to an article, a video, or any other kind of content on the web that you'd like to include. The, as you can see, the Google Form is included here. The option for grade importing is automatically on, meaning that as the grade, as the quiz grades itself, it's going to import all of those grades into the Google Classroom gradebook. Over to the right, I have to select which of my classes I would like to assign this quiz to. It can be multiple classrooms or just the one that I'm in. Next, I can select which of my students will receive this quiz. Right now, I'm selecting all students. I also can choose what the grade is going to be in point value a due date, a topic. So at this point now I'm ready to start editing my quiz. I'm going to click right here where it says blank quiz. On this screen, the Google form comes up. Up at the top left is my options to name this file. And of course, create a title for my students, as well as another description or directions here. My first question is included. The first thing I like to decide is what type of question am I going to ask? So maybe for the first one, I can choose a short answer in which I ask, what is your name? As you can see, there's an option for an answer key, but there's no correct or wrong answer here. I will leave that off. I will, however, turn this on to required so the students have to answer this question. To include another question, I can simply click the duplicate button. I like doing this because it remembers the required option. Now for this first question, I will ask a multiple choice question. Just a simple multiple choice question. I will do something very simple here. What is two plus two? Now because of multiple choice, I can now go ahead and include my answer options here. One, two, four, and zero. Next, I will click answer key. Answer key lets me select the correct answer, but also very importantly, lets me choose how many points my students will get for this question. This is worth 50 points. I click done and I'm ready to go. Next, I will click the duplicate button one more time to include one more question. For this question, I will say, what animal is this in the picture? And I will go ahead and click this picture icon and use Google image search and search for a cat. There's an interesting looking cat that we will insert. Now my picture can be resized, so I will do that now. I will include my options, cat, dog, squirrel, and lizard. Don't forget, I have to click answer key. I have to let it know what is the correct answer. This also will be worth 50 points. And I am ready to get my quiz going. Now keep in mind, you can add in other features such as YouTube videos and different sections to your quiz. For this particular question, I think I'm going to provide some feedback, add answer feedback to this question. So I'm going to click here. Now for incorrect answers, I we might say, whoops, wrong answer. Please review the link below. And this is my opportunity to click this link and maybe give my students an article to read or maybe a self-paced Nearpod. For correct answers, I can say correct. 
please extend your learning to this video. And then I can use this icon, icon right here to attach a YouTube video. This is a great way to provide feedback instantly to your students and give them some different options to extend their learning. I won't save this. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this for now. This two question quiz is now complete. I'm ready to send it out to my students. At this point, I can just close this window and I can go back to my Google Classroom. All of my details have been put in. My quiz has been created. All I have to do is click assign. Now I did not send it into a topic. So that means it just will show up at the top up here. I see quiz 10. So now my students are ready to take the quiz. Now just a little bit of information about uh, the background here. If you want to see responses, of course, you just have to click responses here. As your students complete the quiz, these responses will show up here. And just take a look right here. Another big important feature I like to show off is that I can see these responses as a spreadsheet. Click here to be able to see all of those responses. If you have any more questions about creating a Google form, be sure to reach out to our office, edtech at saisd.net. Thank you.